Holy shit, 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 holy shit. Rollins cashed in. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. And holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this is our quick little aftermath. First impressions of what the fuck just happened. We just finished WrestleMania, so we're here. Our thoughts are hot and fresh. I think we should start this by saying this was an absolutely fantastic fucking WrestleMania from start to finish, minus one or two hiccups. But this was fan-fucking-tastic. Yeah, actually, by the way, my voice is completely shot, so um, get ready for raspy musings from me, DJ Kalkos. Because uh, I was at the bar, and we were watching the uh, the rather well-done Seth Rollins-Randy Orton match. Um, and, uh, we didn't get the Phoenix Splash into an RKO, but we did get a curb stomp into an RKO. And I, by God, I'll take that. I'll take it. <laughs> it um, was a hell, it was one hell of an RKO. It's not, a, I, I still don't think it's as good as the one that uh, Orton did on Evan Bourne, but it was still one fucking great. Oh yeah, when, when, when Seth Rollins went for the curb stomp, the entire venue went completely silent. And then... Uh, Orton arched his back and we just went nuts. We also went nuts during uh, the pre-show when it finally fucking happened. Yes! <laughs> Miz yeah. Dow finally but no, I'm sorry, he, we can, we're not calling him Miz Dow anymore. Sandow turned on Miz, chucked his ass over the top rope the turn finally fucking happened and then Big Show won. But yeah, who cares? That, uh, Sandow that, is now face. That Here's sucks, but we did get the face turn, and it was a valiant, valiant effort from him. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense for the big show to win an Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. I kind of wish it wasn't this one, but this yeah. opens up doors for both Miz and Miz Dow going on. Yeah, Absolutely. but if he's if he's not going to win this one, then which one will be the right one for him? It's There's always going to be a better story than Big Show. Yeah. Touche, touche. But uh, I think I think when they came up with the concept for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, I think they originally had Big Show in mind because it's fitting that he wins that. You know, there's been so many comparisons between Big Show and Andre, and I guess it, it's not as ah, – what's the word I'm looking for? It's not as good as we had hoped for. It's We weren't as excited about it. We're not as happy as we yeah. – I think they wanted us to be. If it yeah. had been the first time, if Cesaro hadn't won it the first time and Big Show had won it, you know, it would have more meaning to it. But now it's kind of soured by the whole Ms. Ms. Dow thing because if Ms. Dow had won it, you know, it would have been like even better. It seemed like the right thing, but I can yeah, understand why that goes of course, show. of course, before we were really confused as to why it was moved to the pre-show. It was all of a all of a sudden. But now, after watching, we know exactly why it was moved to the pre-show because Ronda Rousey was there, and they wanted to do a segment with her and uh, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, and The Rock. That's the reason why they moved it down. And I think the segment was cool. But after it was done, I realized what they did to make it fit, and I've got a very bad taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad. I mean, the segment was okay, but I felt it was a little too long. Like, yeah. get to the point. Are we having a, a Rock versus Triple H match next year's WrestleMania? What's, what's going on here? Seeing as how I'm not the hugest fan of The Rock to begin with, I actually uh, was live tweeting during this whole thing, and I sat on there. The you, were the, you were live tweeting, I think. You and Kalkos were live tweeting the much. I wasn't as much as I <laughs> as I thought I was, but the, I was just Rock, sitting in awe of it, honestly. Yeah, The Rock is the master of the cheap pop. He will like get people to cheer for him with the with the simplest ways of doing so, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it it it, it just kind of <sighs> I, I wish I, I don't know. If this wasn't in there, the Andre match would have been in. But Now we move to the actual uh, – oh, wait. We can mention Kid and Cesaro's match, which, by the way, Kid and Cesaro's match was great. Yeah. I, it, both pre-show matches were really good, which is kind of weird. I'm yeah. kind of glad that I stuck around to watch the pre-show because I, I just had it up when I was talking to my friends. But then when the actual matches came on, like Kid and Cesaro, first of all, I knew they were going to retain. Mm -hmm. And what they were doing with um, taking out one of the Usos, like – like right near the beginning, I was thinking, yeah, they're not winning this. Hmm. Yeah, well, that was just a uh, quick way of getting the injured one out of the match. So smart move yeah. on their part. I'll give them that. Yeah. But, uh, so now we move it, to the actual beginning of WrestleMania. I really liked the yellow Cool J thing they did. The whole connected thing. 
Yeah, that, that was – I don't usually go for like the you, – you can expect like the WrestleMania intros to be big and epic, but I thought this one was more simplistic. It kind of worked like that. But um, they started the pay-per-view off with the ladder match, which I think if they had switched it around with Orton's match, it would have been I think a little better. But they they went out guns – they they guns a-blazing you know, with yeah. this ladder match, and Daniel Bryan fucking did it. Yeah. Right. Brian won the <laughs> Brian won the big one. Yeah. Well, not the big one, but yeah. he won a big one. And now that getting all that and getting all that praise from um, past Intercontinental champions, I think was a brilliant touch too. Yeah, yeah that man. was that was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. So I expect big things from Daniel Bryan as Intercontinental champion, and hopefully, uh, now that he's out of the main title picture, he can be the next. Shawn Michaels in a way if they can build him up like that and have him do that for the next five years I won't complain I think this now means that Daniel Bryan has won five different championships in five consecutive Wrestlemania's so I think so no he hasn't won them he's fought for them mm. he didn't win he did not win at Wrestlemania 28 mm. all right yeah because that would mean that well, yeah, because I mean, he'd be five and zero. So, yeah, yeah no, he's um four and one, I think. Of course, then we had Orton and uh, Seth Rollins match, which I knew was going to be great. Um, I'm glad that I, I was surprised that Orton won because I was I thought for sure they were going to have Seth Rollins have a cheap victory and then they'd have a rematch at Extreme Rules, which I'm guessing they probably will now. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with Seth Rollins, though. So, uh, we'll get, yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Um, hmm. Then, rather early on, we had Triple H versus Sting in a, why was it a no disqualification match? So that they could use the uh, sledgehammers and baseball bats and get the but, NWO and all that shit But involved. was that ever announced, though? I'm sure it was, but we... I, did we, I, I, did I miss attention. it on the pre-show? <laughs> <laughs> it might have been an awesome pre-show. Well, I missed the match, so I don't... <laughs> I had to drive home from the bar because I wasn't feeling too well. Um, hmm. That's why my voice is raspy, actually. If I had just stayed home, I would have been perfectly okay. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I came home, so I, I missed the match. I heard my, my pick won. My horse won, which is cool. Yeah. yeah, Triple H and Sting's match was pretty slow, but then they started bringing out the people, and I think that was a way of saying, okay, they can't really wrestle as much as they used to before, I guess. So they had the, they had DX, and then they had uh, the NWO, and then they had Shawn Michaels come out, and then Triple H gets like the not clean win, but yeah, you know, I, I think at this point it would have. I, I guess he needed that victory because now it'll probably be Triple H versus The Rock next year. Yeah. Which I'm the, totally okay with. I'm by the way, the intro that Triple H had was the stupidest fucking thing I have ever <sighs> seen. This is what I like to call convenient timing. Because Arnold's going into the Hall of Fame, Arnold's got Terminator Genesis, Triple H is good friends with Arnold, therefore Triple H has a Terminator Genesis style intro. I understand that, but it looks like the outfit that Triple H had was bought in a Halloween store for fifteen bucks. That looked like yeah. that looked like shit. It that, it it really did. I'm like, is that it? Like, okay. I, I heard going into this that there was going to be a Terminator Genesis sort of cameo with the uh, uh, Triple H's in, intro, but really could have been done better. I there think. was so much more they could have done with that. They could have done some face paint kind of thing. They could have got some like covered up more of his body with metal it was just it looked cheap it looked super cheap it did i wish i i think we all wish we could have done more with that and sting's entrance really wasn't that great either you know the triple h sting match was a little weak i thought but and it's probably the man. weakest match on the uh on the card um other than the divas match oh well, my the, god no, triple no, h no i wouldn't sting's even say that matches. aj and page and the bella twins weren't Work weren't that bad. I'll, I'll give no, them that. They, weren't. Oh, they were a little botchy, bad. AJ Lee especially, but she did nail the Black Widow perfectly. So, with the whole hashtag gives divas a chance thing, I'm just like, they stole the hashtag, we'll just make use of it. And I'm, I'm very skeptical right now. For the record, that match lasted 6 minutes and 42 seconds. Would that be constituted of a chance? No, needs to be at least 8 minutes. Yeah. Not good enough, sorry. 
Um, but we all know Divas matches are filler in WrestleMania for pee breaks. Yeah. Uh, they should. Uh, they, they, they need com- They need comedy matches for that kind of thing. They need jobbers to fill that slot for when people need to take a pee. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't thrust the women in there and expect them to do that. To be fair, uh, Skylar Gray, uh, Kid Ink, and Tyler and Travis Parker filled that role quite nicely. No, oh my yeah. God. Okay. Uh, moving on though, we have Murka. Murka. Cena and Rusev. Okay. Mur- okay. Rusev that, that- came in. R- Rusev came no, in no, 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 no! Don't even, tank. don't even talk about the match yet. Can we talk about that ridiculously uber fucking patriotic video that they showed before Cena's entrance? That showed images about 9/11 and how terrible it was. People are reliving that image and those images 13 and a half years after the actual incident. Why yeah. you would fucking do that? I have no idea. To anybody that isn't American, that doesn't look patriotic. It looks smug, overconfident, and pompous. Which is exactly what America looks like to the rest of the world. So, it's only fitting. That sucked. I hated it. It was stupid. Go back to 1986 where you belong. Anyway, let's go on to the match. Let's also talk about Rusev coming into the ring on a goddamn tank. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That was cool. Yeah, See, Rusev, Rusev had had this really elaborate entrance with like the Russian Russian theme, you know, the people with the flag and like all this other artillery and Lana looking great and him coming into the ring on this fucking tank. Cena gets the obnoxious as hell American promo and just comes out with nothing else but just himself. And then he wins. I'm sorry, but it feels kind of wasted. Not then, to mention you know? not to mention Cena didn't even win clean. Rusev ran into Lana, knocked her off the ring, got her hurt, and then if uh, or if you and yeah, but it only took one though, and I'm like, yeah. I've seen Rusev get the shit knocked out of him more than what Cena did. Rusev yeah. was destroying Cena, and then all of a sudden Cena comes back. I'm like, okay, fucking excuse me, that's yeah. not how this works. But then again, of course, Cena wins lol. And on top of even that, though we all knew Cena was go well, who here thought that Rusev was going to win? That hey. was Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki did I, not do very well on this prediction. I got crushed. I, was, I wait. Did I? I think I won this, didn't I? You, won. you did. You won by one point with the oh, mo- oh, oh. segue segue. You won by one point because of the Undertaker Bray Wyatt match. I fucking told you all. You were all like, oh, no, no, it's going to be the passing of the torch. Wyatt's going to be the new face of your. No, fuck you. Taker came back. He made Bray Wyatt look good. And that's no, he all didn't. Taker needed to no, do. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He, he didn't. made Bray Wyatt look like a beast. No, really no, like no, he fucking didn't. He made he made him he did not make Bray look good. He made himself look good. That match had nothing to do with Bray Wyatt and everything to do with The Undertaker. And that's not fair. I read a report that uh Bray Wyatt tweaked his ankle went in the warm-ups for this match. Does that change anything? That's true, but It doesn't change anything because I was watching that match from start to finish and there was only one moment, one moment where I noticed the tweaked ankle and that was when he took a step on his right foot and screamed Mm. out. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah, I thought he was acting, but then I remembered, oh, tweaked ankle. But no, he finished the match. So no, that doesn't change anything. The thing is... It That match wasn't for Bray Wyatt. It was for The Undertaker. That's what gets me here. If anything, the way I look at it, this was a good chance to show what Wyatt could do against The Undertaker. I think it may have been for Undertaker, but I think that in some parts it was also for Wyatt. It was it, This is a great opportunity for Wyatt. I think what matters is that despite the fact that he lost, I think he can still keep going up. I hope you're right, but I don't know what now, because he, he he's not the new face of fear. So he what is. what is he? Like, it's not like the title was on the or the, that nickname was on the line or anything. Like he is the new face of fear. It's just that he he couldn't beat a freaking the freaking phenom. At That's the point. The point of this match was not the match itself. It was the outcome. Just like it is with all Undertaker matches at WrestleMania. You don't care about the match at the end of the day. All you care about is the number at the end of it. That's all that matters. 
this was this not about also, the match. It, it was about the it outcome. It wasn't about the streak, though. It wasn't about the streak. It doesn't was need to be about the streak. It doesn't need to be about the streak. All that mattered was Bray Wyatt needed to go over, and he didn't. So what does he do now? He didn't look good in that ring. That I like, told you already, that match was all about The Undertaker. Bray, he, Undertaker could have wrestled himself. It would have made no difference. And I know, I'm biased as all fuck. I'm really, really biased on this. But I don't see where Bray Wyatt can go from here. I don't. Can we at least agree that Undertaker still got it? Yes. I was a little worried because of the expressions on on his face um, during some of the really match, but but uh, yeah, he he can still go in in ten to twelve minute matches. He's not going to be able to put on fucking twenty minute epics, but he he can still wrestle. So. Uh, if he does retire next year, for the love of fuck, pick a good opponent. If it's Bray Wyatt again, fine. If it's Sting, fine. Just find somebody good. There's always the possibility that this could have a rematch at next year's WrestleMania and Wyatt wins then. There's I, the, always that possibility. They ha- they'll have to be careful, but that is definitely something that, that could happen. I think the fact that Wyatt did so well against The Undertaker is going to still make him look good. I think that in some cases you don't always need to win. You need to just look good. You need to be strong. You need to still have that image. And I think Wyatt still has that image. I fucking hope so. I disagree, but I hope so. However, when it comes to agreements or disagreements, this main event was fucking (laughs) bonkers. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god, it was. It was amazing, honestly. It was, it was a roller coaster of an epic. Like, okay, you have... I I just keep thinking back to, or or Brock Lesnar's gonna Ronda Rousey your ass, and he does. He fucking goes <laughs> crazy, landing suplex after suplex. Suplex city, bitch! Yeah, uh, that was amazing. And, and I, think five, the final, I think the final number of suplexes was ten. Uh, but, yeah, I think it was ten. It was. It wasn't. Definitely wasn't sixteen. Like, uh, like with the John Cena match. But it, that's a lot. Um, <laughs> and he lands F fives, just knees him in the chest over and over again, and through it all, Reigns is smiling, taking the punishment. Um, it definitely his wild smugness cannot be stopped. Well, it definitely made Reigns look better. I will say. Uh, if I only have a because... question though. What? I have a question. Sorry to interrupt. I have a question though. Was him getting busted open supposed to happen? Because I was, I was I, a little confused. I don't know. I it probably wasn't. Uh, if it was, then holy shit. If it wasn't, then it's whatever. But if, man, if, I haven't seen I haven't seen somebody get busted open in a long time. Yeah, it, if if, if Lesnar, if, if they were supposed to use blood, then that's actually really, really crazy. Because they have goes back to his promo too. How he's saying he can bleed and whatnot. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. that's nuts. But but Reigns, of course, did do the comeback. Head on the pole. Lesnar's busted open. Um, Reigns does everything he can. Lesnar will not go down. And they're both weak as shit because they've been beating the shit out of each other this whole fucking time. Mostly Lesnar, of course. I kind of wish that uh, Reigns did get a little bit more offense in just to make oh, yeah. it make it more believable. Um, but that's the way it went. And then all of a sudden, history is made. Fucking, uh, here's the thing. When we were talking about, if I may recall, when we were talking about this in our predictions cast, did any of us say anything about Rollins cashing in? We 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 were thinking about it. it. We We were thinking about it, but it was all passing thoughts. We didn't think it would actually fucking happen. I don't think anybody actually physically said it out loud in the, in the cast. I, t- I tweeted it one it, time. We so did. I no, th- we did talk about it. We did talk about a Seth cash in, I think, maybe. But, I mean, that's very glaring. We didn't see it as a viable option. And it happened. They They swerved us. They got us. Bad. That was a genuine swerve, honestly. Like I have it, not had a good swerve in a long time. Yeah, like, and it's funny. It's weird to me because... Right now, we're looking at this. It's currently 11.38 p.m. on the East Coast, 10.38 p.m. for you guys in Central Time. And at this very moment, Seth Rollins is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. 
<laughs> Seth Rollins is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. This Seth Rollins is the fucking champ. Not no. When you ask your when you ask your friends, hey, who won between uh, Reigns and Lesnar? Rollins. You're gonna get so many looks, but Ray, uh, Rollins won. And I am I, okay. I was gonna be a little worried at first, but I'm actually really happy because this presents a shit ton of opportunities. And the way that the match finish went, it made Lesnar still look good because he was not the one that got pinned, and it made Reigns look good because he took a shit ton of beating, and it showed that he <laughs> he can take it. He was, I guess, it was to show that Reigns has a lot of heart and. Rollins. That's that's just, exactly what it was. I hate to interrupt, but that's exactly what that's it was because okay. that's what Jerry Lawler was talking about uh, earlier on in the in the pay per view. Who's talking about how much heart Roman Reigns has? Because that was a legitimate beating. I don't know if I, I don't know if I, you guys noticed, but Reigns took some serious fucking punishment there. He did. Yeah, there was some. You said it was an lips. exercise in pain. I think. Yeah, on Twitter I said that that match was an exercise in pain. So I have. More respect for Roman Reigns now than I have in the last six months. However, yeah. I'm still not totally sold on him yet. This well, is the starting point, WWE. Make me believe that. Yeah. Well, here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. Rollins is probably going to have a rematch with, or, or a champion's rematch with Brock Lesnar at the next pay-per-view, and it's going to be at Extreme Rules, which means there's going to probably be some shenanigans that's going to keep the title on Rollins and off of Lesnar. So yeah, that's that's, that, right. that, that's that, how you get Brock Lesnar out of the title picture. Yeah, because that's what they needed. Like that's that's a really good point that you make, Nikki. He needs to get out of the title picture because Brock Lesnar is above the title at this point. Keeping the title on him is completely useless and prevents other people from getting over. Or Rollins at least, is over now than he's ever been in his entire career. I, 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 I say he's the champion. I can't believe it myself. I saw it on my screen no less than an hour ago. Or no more than an hour ago, I should say. No more than an hour ago. And I can't believe it myself. It, I it, freaked out when I heard his music. I, I was kind of just leaning back. I'm like, okay, so how long is this going to take? I looked at the, I was looking at the my wrist, looking at the watch, and I heard his music. I immediately jolted up, and I'm like, holy shit. No way, no way. I was legitimately excited. I was bouncing up and down. Is he going to do it? He's going to do it? When he pinned him, I was, I, <laughs> yes, I barked out. I was really happy about it because I think Rollins deserves it. I, I think Rollins deserves it too. I think Reigns getting this reboot is good for him. Um, he can. I I really hope he does make a heel turn now because he is way better as a heel at this point. Um, just from the interviews and other things that he says, way fucking better as a heel. Mm -hmm. Lesnar, uh, he can lose the rematch at Extreme Rules should he choose to take it. Uh, if not, he can just stand there as sort of like a a totem for challengers to try and beat. Um, maybe Daniel Bryan can beat him. Oh, that'd be I, That opens up that. But here, here. Wait, wait, could, but would that match have to be for the Intercontinental title? Yeah, which would be great to elevate the Intercontinental title. <laughs> because the guy holding it won against Brock Lesnar. Here's what I want to see what happens for tomorrow, and hopefully for the future. What I want to see happen is I want to see Seth Rollins do two things. I want him to turn face, and I want him to get rid of J&J security. And actually three. I want him to get to stay away from the authority altogether. I want him to take this opportunity, even get some new theme music and whatnot, to just take this title and go with it in a face heel sort of tweener direction with it. And I want Reigns to turn heel as well. I want to see that happen just as much as you do, Kalkos. So Yeah, and, and right now the path is set. Uh, uh, things are, well looking up I'm, it's kind of weird I, I to, say to say that it. but <laughs> i i hated to say this at first but i'm actually glad now um i have hope now again i'm honestly hopeful i'm very optimistic to see where this is going because i did not expect this at all to happen so now it's it's unpredictable it was a great genuine swerve that is taking us in a direction where pretty much anything can happen and that's got me excited that has me hopeful i'll be honest after triple h and sting John Cena and Rusev and Undertaker Wyatt, those three matches had me on the down slide. It was like I was not looking forward to this. I thought that if Lesnar won against Reigns, my, 
Like I would be back to like medium hype. I am hyped more than I have been in a year. It's ever since last year's WrestleMania. This is fucking great. I love the direction where the WWE is going right now. And like I've spent the last 45 minutes in a state of delirium, like quietly giggling to myself. This is this is weird. Let's yeah. hope they don't mess it up. Uh-huh. I'm, Why you I'm say cautiously that? optimistic, Damn. honestly. Yeah. But but that's the thing. They have confidence. They have to have confident have confidence because if they didn't have confidence, they would have kept the title on Lesnar. But Seth used his briefcase, which means that's no longer an option. And mm-hmm. Seth Rollins is now the champion. Now let's so, see what they do with Rollins as champion. They they need to they need to utilize. Think about it. Right now you have. Four champions, all of them are over in one way or another, and right here is your ground platform to start elevating the new generation of title holders. Th- this is it. This is the start, and WrestleMania 32 needs to be the end. You got one year, WWE. Make it happen. <laughs>